You can have them place both legs up and the general rule is measure at the mid calf or at the widest part of the gastrocnemius. When we're doing this as part of a musculoskeletal examination, we're doing this to test for any muscular atrophy to see if there's a difference in the size of the calf muscles from leg to leg. We can also check calf circumference for the presence of edema and congestive heart failure or any other type of heart problems. We can also measure calf circumference to see in the presence of certain neurological conditions if there's been muscular wasting as a result of decreased uh, innervations to those muscles. So there's a number of different reasons why we do this. For this particular one, we're doing it for a musculoskeletal exam. We're going to measure it uh, to see if there's been any wasting or actually the muscles. The biggest mistake that people make with this examination is they apply too much tension around their tape measure. So you just want to basically lay it on the skin, bring it around to the front. Do not apply any pressure to it other than to keep it from sliding down. Make sure you're parallel and come across till you get to the zero mark. And this one would be 30, 33 and a half. Come around to the opposite side, measuring at the same level, which should be pretty symmetrical to both. And the fatty part of her leg. <laughs> Okay. And this one is about 33 and a quarter, so within two millimeters of 